I'm the Octagon, and the United States and North Korea are like sodium and glory, both highly reactive and dangerous on their own, but when combined together, can make something really useful, like salt. But a crossover between the Americans and North Koreans isn't an everyday thing, which is what happened in the Daehongdan incident. Our story begins on the 29th of October 2007, 70 miles from Mogadishu in Somalia, where this North Korean ship called the Daehongdan had just finished unloading its cargo, when a group of seven pirates decided that some poor North Koreans were gonna make them rich. So the pirates then disguised themselves as guards and took control of the ship's bridge, which is this main control room looking thing, while the 22 crewmen and sailors were kept hostage in the engine and steering room. And when the ship was finally away from port, it was now time for the pirates to make their demands, which was $15,000. Now while I'm not an expert at asking ransoms, but $2,100 among 7 pirates for this amount of risk sounds like minimum wage to me. We're pretty sure the pirates have never seen a US dollar in their lives, so whatever. The crew, however, somehow managed to send an SOS to the International Maritime Organization, who then sent the report to a US Navy destroyer nearby called the James E. Williams, who then sent a helicopter to the Daihongdan, who then confirmed that the vessel was indeed hijacked, who then told the destroyer about it, who then ordered the pirates to surrender. So now you got 7 pirates against whatever all of this is. Now while the exact details of what happened next aren't very clear, but after confirming that the Americans were coming to their rescue, the sailors fought back against the pirates, seized their weapons, and the pirates eventually surrendered after a gunfight that lasted somewhere around 20 hours. And I don't understand this part at all. There's only 7 of them against the literal US Navy. But I like to imagine they probably just got bored of fighting each other and played Call of Duty instead. In the end, 2 of the 7 pirates were killed and the rest were captured. On the other side, 6 of the crew were injured and 3 of them required immediate medical treatment, for which they were transferred to the James E. Williams where they were treated by the American medics. For this incident, the North Korean government for the first time in its history released an actual positive statement thanking the United States for their help and pledging that they would continue to render international cooperation in the fight against terrorism alongside their new American friends, while completely ignoring the fact that 55 years ago the North Koreans attacked and captured a US ship called the USS Pueblo and have literally been using it as a museum since 10 years. But maybe more on the Pueblo some other day. Also another cool fact that I came across while researching is that the captain of the Daehongdan is this guy called Park Hyungwan, who has received a hardworking hero title which is North Korea's highest award for workers. Which I'm guessing most likely translates to something like, hey at least you and your family would not magically disappear for a while. But considering that the Daehongdan has been out of service for about 10 years now, I'm not too sure what happened to this guy. Also the crew took care of most of the situation before the Americans even arrived because apparently they're highly trained in martial arts and they didn't even need any help at all. So the next time you even think about being a pirate, just keep in mind that a North Korean sailor might just be watching you around the corner. But as for now, I'm the Octagon and thank you for watching. Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. Shut up!